Yo, what up guys? Alan here with some personal vlogging type content. We're actually going to be talking about going to Big Bend on a trip I did that was from Dallas to Big Bend. Eight hours, lots of stuff to see there. And so we got the desk set up, the uh, working station. I'm just going to be going over, I'm just going to be going over um, the PowerPoint slides I have that uh, talk about Big Bend. So if you're interested in going to Big Bend, these are the top five things that I recommend to make the most out of that trip, especially if you're coming from Dallas. So guys, as I'm showing casing on the screen, we started in Dallas, Georgia. I flew out there and we went in a Honda CRV, which was comfortable enough for, I'd say, four people. When you have all your bags and especially if you're planning a long trip, this takes eight hours. We actually originally had five people that were planning to go, but one of them couldn't make it. As we follow along this yellow line, so you can see basically the general um, time it takes such a far distance from going from one point to the other in texas i felt like we were driving taking shifts and three hour shifts but it still was a lot to do um there are some stuff that were on the way but we essentially stayed in the chisos mountain lodge which is right in the center of big bend let's take a look at the timeline actually so once we left at 8 30 in the morning driving for two hours we stopped at heb H-E-B fuel, however you pronounce that, I'm not exactly sure. They do have, I would say, some of the best barbecue from a grocery chain that I've ever experienced. And maybe barbecue is big in Texas, not sure. Um, or of course, I know it is. Uh, oh, one thing I skipped over, we did stop in this cute little town in Albine, or however you pronounce it. Got some really great coffee. I don't think I have any B-roll footage to show there. And then from continuing on our journey, literally you can see the time it takes, hour 45 driving straight, two hours driving straight, an hour driving straight. We finally got to the Prada Marfa in at around four o'clock and we had started the day at eight o'clock. Have some pictures I could showcase to you. Um, I do think it's cool that if you do some blog type, vlog type content with recapping your trips, <laughs> we were getting real modely at the, uh, at the um, the Prada, there was just I thought it was actually a Prada when they had mentioned it to me, but it turns out that it was a just an art installation. So you can't even go inside. They just have this building out and have a couple of these photos taken with the friends that ended up going to Big Bend. A couple more hours of driving, and we finally end the day. Where do we end the day? At Chisos, which is what I put in the Google Maps um, timeline. Big Bend National Park is actually almost 800,000 acres of land, almost a million acres of land. So once you get there, be prepared to get the gas before the trip. And anywhere you get gas bef uh, before entering the National Park area, be sure to do so because gas was quite expensive inside there. Um, but yeah, seeing Big Bend National Park is really amazing. There's over thousands of types of plants, various types of birds, tons of wildlife, and, you know, this is my itinerary is what we did there it was very light, but you could do anything from hiking, camping, bird watching, stargazing. We did do that. And that was probably one of the coolest parts or a cool part was that it's like a national protected land with no light. So one of the times the uh, Rangers did a stargazing kind of uh, what's in the night sky. I thought that was really awesome. Um, and then one of the big things to not miss is also some of the sunsets, sunrises. Um, so if you stay at the Chisos Lodge and you wake up early enough, you can see the sunrise and sunset over the Chisos Mountains. Um, so that's something I recommend. So going back to my Google Maps timeline, if we take a look at how what it said we were tracking, it literally says staying there until 4.30 p.m. But we did start a drive to go to what we found was this hot springs area. I have some photos I could share on top of what's showing on the Google Maps timeline. Um, but Really, it was an awesome hot tub type experience that runs right off the Rio Grande. And then they, whoever built that house had a setup where when the river was floated, you get naturally warm water. So it was quite an experience. I recommend checking it out. Um, it says it's in Brewster County. Uh, but let me get the actual name. Hot Tub Rio Grande in Big Bend. Let's take a look at what the official name is. Yeah, just soak in the hot spring um yeah i guess it's just called the hot spring and so this is the link of the website you take a road there it took us about an hour to get there from the chisos lounge it was a 0.5 round mile round trip and as you can see here you're just laying out soaking in the hot tub 
I um, just want to confirm that, yeah, an hour 40 of driving to get to that area and then driving back. For some reason, it only took 40 minutes. I think we were trying to get dinner. Um, so, yeah, I'd recommend preparing to have a long driving period, as I mentioned before, over 800,000 different um, acres of land. So going into Chi from Chisos to some of these activities you can do could definitely take a lot of time and take a lot of gas. So actually one thing I forgot to talk about was what was taking up these days. I don't know why it says we started at 2 a.m. We definitely did not, but we did end up doing the Chisos Trail. Um, here's a shot of me while we are at the beginning of it. Um, so the Chisos Trail was, man, is this really accurate? It was the Window Trail, actually. Window Trail at Big Bend. Let's take a look at if it shows up on all trails. Uh, top trails, lost mine, the Window Trail. Yep, 5.5 miles back and forth you go all the way down and you go to some areas and some ravines i'll showcase this as i'm talking over with some b-roll footage of course um but yeah it was pretty decent hike pretty downhill actually all the way down and uphill on the way back i think it took us about four hours to do 5.5 trails stunning views and if you could get it early enough to get some sunrise or sunset i wouldn't really recommend sunset because you could get lost on the trail we actually did ourselves on one of the times we kept following the river when we should have gone a different area um but yeah pretty cool scenery you could get and that's also something we did on the first day now you can see here that i'm showing on the google maps timeline um we started out on the lodge every day but then you go out and eat the lodge has a good restaurant and breakfast food we went driving for a bit to brewster county and in brewster county there's a lost um city so you can I just really like this timeline feature. It's helpful if you're trying to be a vlogger or make content in post where you review what you did that day. You can make the content and then supplement it with B-roll content. So just a little tip for people following this channel, as I mentioned, um, I'm going into travel technology as some of my personal branding and the aim of having a wealthy, healthy, loved and fulfilled life. So if you're new to this channel and you like this kind of content or you're getting ideas, be sure to like and subscribe um, or leave me a comment on this if you're planning to go to Big Bend yourself. Here on the timeline, we also did some more driving. It says we drove for six hours. I don't know if I believe that. Uh, there was definitely a lot of driving, but we got to the Sotal Overlook where you got this epic photo of my buddy Jarek and Matt taking a photo of him. I think it looked much better in person. Of course, the pictures don't do it justice, but really just a full day of driving um, just in this area alone to go Brewster County and down to some of the borders of Mexico. Um, so that was as some of the itineraries for you to look into when you get into Big Bend National Park. So one of the last things that we did, which didn't show up in the Google timeline for some reason, or it didn't make it its own part, but I believe that the hike we did was this 1.6 easy mile hike into the Rio Grande. You start in and you just hike along the cliff walls. I'll show some of the photos, but I'll showcase also what's showing on all trails. Um, yeah, you just literally just go along the river this wasn't the right hike. Um, it, this looks very similar to what it was. You just start on the overlook hike and walk in and you can see people are doing this hike. So there's a lot of different various hikes like this um, that perhaps my photos or I'm off base of what the actual hike we did. I know it was like we went in, I wish this track yet, yeah, this part of the town we weren't driving. It says the Santa Alina. Okay, yeah, Canyon Trail. Yep, so this is, see, better prepared if you're trying to do content um, off the cusp. But yeah, I'll showcase what not only what the all trail shows was, but of my own um, videos and make it and post some, um, some, you know, B-roll audio that I have to add, but I don't think there is any. So overall, that was our trip. It was a whole weekend trip. We left on when did we leave Saturday. We left on Wednesday. I flew in Thursday. We took off in the morning three hour driving, doesn't even tell you what time of day you did. Um, 714 miles, 11 hours driving. Then on the Friday, 60 miles driving. And lastly, 118 miles going, wow, that's crazy. 118 miles driving all around for a full pack day. And then Sunday we headed back to Dallas with 
a shorter trip because we didn't have to go through Martha, but it still took nine hours to go. So everyone, that's kind of my itinerary from a vlog content going back in time. Um, hope you guys have any questions. If you do, leave a comment below. I'm working on my branding of not just um, the type of content you'll see here is for lifetime long learners and people who like to um, you know, explore different areas of what life could give. The previous video, if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out, was on the book Good to Great. And I'm, I'm working on getting more of my systems and processes shared on this personal channel to work on self-development, which at the end of the day, I hope that by showcasing some of my lifestyle um, and it could help people either get a remote job um, in you know, professional scrum masters or in the business space, or start their own side business, or if you're already working, start your own YouTube to get some in, uh, supplementary income. I do run the Blend Logic Tech channel, in which I did review this laptop, which is the M3 Max laptop, 14-inch, um, and they just released the M3 MacBook Air. I don't think I'm going to get that because I even for testing because I I have the M2 MacBook Air, so I'll do just a comparison between you know that type of stuff. If you're into technology, check out the Blend Logic Tech channel. And on this channel, I'll be doing some travel tech along with the lifetime learning stuff I mentioned and being wealthy, healthy, loved, wise, and stuff of that nature. So that's it for me and this Big Ben trip. Al Nefredi signing out. Peace.